it is said it by profession i am a dentist uh, at the month of january we decided to have a own clinic at hyderabad after waiting for the six long years without uh, pursuing my career because of my kids i take a decision uh, to start a clinic so everything uh, is good because we are uh, we can afford financially i have a good handwork where i can serve the people ethically do the practice then i am going to the god lord is it your will to have a clinic god was silent i had a practice of uh, knowing his will in everything in my marriage in my career in my studies everything this time when i am going to god he is silent i don't know what is happening so we are uh, going everywhere we are seeing the places to have a clinic uh, we are searching for the shutters we are going to choose the equipment we are speaking with the people but nowhere i'm uh, finding the peace of god so i i stopped everyone is calling madam when are you going to start the clinic we are ready to give the equipment we are we will give for the good prizes but god was silent so then i stopped for a while but uh, i'm not happy with what uh, god has doing in my life why he is so silent after these many years i want to have a my have my career where everything is uh, joining for the betterment of my life why he was silent i'm keep on asking him is he was silent for 3 months it is very hard time daily he was telling that fear not fear not fear not i will fight your fight be strong be courageous but how lord why are you not speaking whether to start it or not why it is happening to me uh, so i was so confused i used to pray like this but lord you are not the master of confusion but the clarity why are you not speaking with me so one day uh, we got to know that we are no, no more staying at hyderabad we has to uh, got transferred to anandpur district then everything happened uh, i was overwhelmed with the anxiety fear and disappointment i don't know what to do why lord uh, everything is good here to start a clinic but you are silent now you are taking us to anandpur what is your will so again that was the period of 3 months from march end to the uh, almost like uh, may i don't know one day i was uh, i was on my knees praying that lord it was more time i can't take it any more you are my refuse you are my rock you are uh, my salvation you want me to live with the peace joy your heavenly joy should uh, be in my life and be your peace should uh, be in my life but it is not that why that day that night i cried however you are speaking with me i can't be in peace daily you are speaking with me but the peace doesn't uh, come to me your perfect peace your heavenly peace that day that night i cried i poured all my heart in the presence of lord because you are the only refuge i have you are the only god who speaks with me uh, that way i poured my heart then the scripture before me was isaiah 66 chapter 65 65th chapter in the second portion he spoke about the new earth and new heaven when i am going to start i want to start uh, read that uh, few verses it goes like this see i will create new heavens and new earth the former things will not be remembered nor will the, they come to mind but be glad and rejoice forever in what i cre- i will create for i will create jerusalem to be a delight and its people a joy i will re- rejoice over jerusalem and take delight in my people the sound of weeping and crying will be heard it no more never again will there be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not live out this years so it goes like that uh, how the peace will be among the people in the new heaven and new earth so that night god enlightened me the worldly things can never match 
to the heavenly eternity he is going to give to you why are you suffering so long without this small enlightenment god spoke with me clearly that he is preparing me for the heavenly eternity not for the earthly possessions that day a perfect peace of god came to me that morning i was going through my scriptures he said in deuteronomy 8th chapter 7th verse for your god your lord will bring you into your good land lord what is this that day after that uh, 15 minutes i got a news that we are transferred to guntakal this time his perfect peace was with me that as yes, lord i am ready to go for you because he had told me after 3 days again he spoke with me like this when you go to the land uh, when you go to the land what god has given you will be satisfied and you will praise the god in the same chapter 8th chapter and 10th verse he was assuring me that i will be peaceful when i uh, go to his land according to his will in my life then the will of god and will of me merged to together in a same line i ha- i started asking what is the purpose lord you are taking to me to the guntakal then that day he spoke with me acts first chapter 8th verse but you will receive power when the holy spirit comes on you and you will be my witness in jerusalem in all judea and samaria and to the remote places of the earth see if you see in the old terms guntakal may be the remote place but he will use us in his mighty way everywhere he takes us so that was a promise when god gave to me uh, gave to me when i got married that time i asked lord what is the purpose of you in my life lord then he spoke with me through the genesis 28th chapter 15th verse i will be with you i will watch over wherever you go i will take again to this land i will not leave you until i had promised you i have until i have fulfilled the promises done to you so these was the promises leading me uh, in my life whatever the situations whatever the trials when i am overwhelmed overwhelmed with the fear disappointment anxiety in, in my life the only thing i used to do is leaning on on him clinging to the his word taking anchorage over his word that will never fail me it leads me, leads me into the perfect peace of the lord so today i want to share this testimony uh, to glorify god alone who is so faithful in my life so faithful in all my anxieties in all my depressions in all my fear it is not easy thing to be uh, in a fear or anxiety overwhelmed with the uh, disappointments for the six long months i was so disturbed even it affects my physical health but god god is so sovereign his word will refresh us it makes to rejoice in him that's what happened in my life for that i praise god i thank god with all with all my heart